Hello, I'm Anisha Bontula, a graduate student from Oregon State University. I'm excited to share our recent work from the paper entitled, Comparing the Perception of Vibrotactile Feedback Across Frequency and Body Location, on behalf of my co-authors, Ryan Quick and Professor Naomi Fitter. As most viewers will already know, Vibrotactile stimulation is a powerful tool that has shown promise for supporting rehabilitation, body motion training, and virtual reality experiences. While vibrotactile stimulation has been most commonly studied at the hand or fingertips, new applications are bringing this type of feedback to diverse body locations, such as the elbow, knee, and ankle. To understand these haptic sensations across the relatively unexplored areas of the body, we sought to characterize perceptual vibration thresholds across selected vibration frequencies and body locations. In our effort to identify broader perceptual thresholds, we used a two by eight within subject study crossing 55 and 250 Hertz vibration frequencies with the four body locations shown here. Vibrations were delivered using an MM3C voice coil haptic actuator from Tactile Labs. Our methods to identify thresholds, the method of adjustment and the staircase method came from the field of psychophysics. Further reasoning behind this design, in addition to additional design details, can be found in the paper. The results are likewise further elaborated in the paper, but we wanted to touch on two key results here. One insight as shown in this box plot where the brackets denote significant differences is that the 55 Hertz signals were significantly more perceptible than the 250 Hertz vibrations. They were perceived at a much lower magnitude. Perceptual threshold differences across body locations are shown here, where A and P denote the anterior and posterior sides of each investigated joint. As shown in the box plot, the wrist was most sensitive to vibrations overall. Perceptual thresholds illustrated in this box plot can be used by designers of haptic experiences and virtual reality to select appropriate vibration magnitudes to expand the sampling of the joints of the body. Thanks for watching. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about this work remotely or the next time we meet.